The chase figure is going to be none other than holy God in heaven. It's a Yep, I did it. I got another ringside mystery box. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new mystery box unboxing for you guys. Got another one here from Ringside Collectibles, as well as some other packages that we're going to open in this video. So we got this, not only this mystery box, which I hope is better than our first mystery box. Very excited to open this, but... We also got a package from Shop AEW. We got another package from my man Rob right here. And we also got... My Elite Series 106 from Ringside Collectibles right here. So I do want to go through these, and I also want to unbox these other packages that we got. Of course, we are going to open these on the channel. We're going to do full unboxing and reviews of all of these. We're going to do the Usos together, I imagine. So we do have Elite 106 Jimmy Uso, which looks pretty damn good. I'm excited for this Jimmy Uso. We got the two hair pieces. It's got the red attire on there. Very excited for this figure. We got Chad Gable, which I feel might be the most underrated figure in the set, man. If I had to guess at one of the figures that's probably going to be the best figure, like overall, or most underrated figure in the set, it's probably going to be the Alpha Academy Chad Gable figure. Really excited for this one. I just know it's going to feel good in hand, so we do have Chad Gable. We have Roxanne Perez, first time in the line figure. In this first time in the line, am I tripping? It doesn't say first time in the line. Am I wrong on this? I do not remember her basic. If we have a basic Roxanne Perez, it's just blanking my mind right now. But we do have Roxanne Perez, excited to add her to the collection, her like paint splatter referee style attire. We also have our Paul Bearer. Haven't seen a Paul Bearer figure in a really long time. I think the last time we saw one was what, like Hall of Champions, I think, or something like that. So I know that the Paul Bearer figure is going to be great. We got the different urn in there, the new body style, very excited for the Paul Bearer. And at the end of this video, I'm probably going to show you guys an update on the office because I got a lot of the figures up on the walls now, or I got a few of the shelves complete, so I'm excited to show you guys that. But we also have the Paul Bearer from Elite 106. We also have our Elite 106 Sami Zayn right there, which looks great. Fantastic head sculpt. Still waiting on our blood line Sami Zayn again uh, we're going to do full-fledged reviews on all these but I, I think this figure is looking good very similar to his Elite 102 but it is a little bit different and our last figure is going to be Jay Uso so we do have Jay to complete our Uso so Elite 106 is looking pretty damn good man really excited to review these I think we're going to review the Usos tomorrow so you guys can look forward to that we will have the Uso figures going up tomorrow but now that we have our Elite 106 unbox, I did want to showcase these. Let's get into these packages, and then we're going to open this mystery box. All right, man, so I did unbox it there. I only have one hand, but we do have the No Way Home Friendly Neighborhood version of Spider-Man or the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man here. Definitely had to grab this. This is from my boy Rob, so huge shout-out to Rob for finding this in the wild. Now, I'm pretty sure my Target did have this figure, but I had the flu when my Target had him in stock, and I could not go and purchase it. It made me very bummy, but I wasn't going to go out there. First of all, I don't think I had the strength to go get it. Secondly, not going to be putting people at risk like that. So we did have, you know, the No Way Home Tobey Maguire version of Spider-Man. Definitely wanted it for the Tobey head sculpt. Going to be doing some different fix-up and stuff. And, and, you know, I did get the three-pack. I have a couple versions of the three-pack, and I was kind of bummed that they just re-released the same thing with the unmasked head sculpts. But, you know, uh, and also the card's a little bit damaged, but I didn't really care. I didn't want it meant on card. I'm going to be opening this up and adding it to the display and whatnot. So we do have our No Way Home Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Huge shout out to Rob for making that possible. This other package that we got is from Shop AEW. You may already know exactly what this is. Hopefully it's in good case. Just shut the hell up. Let's open this thing up. All right, good. So it is in a Defender case, man. We did get the Shop AEW hook figure, one of 3,000. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I have every single one of these up to date, and I did double up on all of them except for this one and the Hangman. So the last two I have not doubled up on. That There's a few things that go into that. First of all, I didn't feel like... I mean, this is just black boots and a t-shirt. And while it does look good, men on card, I like the hook down the side. You know, it's got the number eight on it. It's got a good image of hook. It's got hook on the side right there. It's a pretty good looking men on card figure. I just didn't really see the point in doubling up on this one. It's not like the Jade Cargill or one of those figures where it's a huge difference. And you could say that about the Kenny Omega, the Chris Jericho, other figures in the set but i don't know man i just wasn't feeling it at this juncture plus i think these retail for like 49.99 now and i did you know just collecting different lines and you know looking up for christmas and stuff i did not want to buy two of these but i did get you know one men on car version so it's going to be cool to have all of these lined up against each other and i think the only one i missed was the jamie hater and that is because i think it went up at a really weird time 
but I don't even think those have shipped yet, so I don't think I can get that in my collection right now anyway. But the Shop AEW 1 of 3000 hook figure does look pretty cool. I think it looks good to me on card. You know, I do like the shirt. I, I like I like the hook figure, obviously, the unmatched and the different versions of the hook figure, but it is cool to have this figure. I'm glad I picked this up, Men on Card. It'll look good up on the wall, so uh, we, we did grab that figure. But now that we have our hook figure, we have our Elite 106 unbox, and we do have our Spider-Man, our Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. It is time, man, to finally dive into our mystery box. Now, I think what I'm going to do for this, since again, I, first of all, I'm home alone right now, so I don't have my wife to cover them up like last time. And I don't really have a tripod, so I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to finagle something, I guess. But we're going to unbox this thing and see what we got out of our separate mystery box from Ringside Collectibles. Again, if you guys want to grab one of these, you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Again, WrestlingFigures.com. Use code MDTOYS to save 10%. But let me grab something, and then uh, we're going to unbox this thing, and hopefully we get some good stuff. All right, man, here we go. Here's our mystery box. Very excited for it. Also, apologize for the weird angle, but the lighting in my office right now is a little bit messed up. But we're going to cut this thing open, and we're going to find out what we got. Now, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Now, there actually is two different versions of mystery boxes on ringside collectibles right now there's a version that we got last time where it was i think it's like three random figures then a rare or chase and then there's an option where you can get like a kenny omega a chris jericho and a hangman page so i guess it's just whichever one you want to do and there's actually i want to say it's like a, a 20 dollar price difference actually but nonetheless man here we go opening it up Removing our plastic, I'm going to cover up the chase, and I'm just going to showcase the figures on the right. So I did see the Defender. There's a Defender on this side, and then the rest of this is unpackaged here. So the first figure that we did get, it looks like, is going to be the Series 6 Chris Jericho figure. Actually, a really solid figure. I like this figure. So I definitely like this way more than the Nyla Rose and the, and the Red Velvet and stuff like that. So we did get a Chris Jericho. The second figure is going to be a Series 6 Hager. So we did get a Series 6 Hager. This is the version that's got the red beard. I want to say I don't have a version that's got the red face. So I guess I did get kind of a different version there. But we did get Series 6 Hager. We also got, it looks like, a Series 7 Lance Archer. So... Definitely better than our last box. I'll, I'll give you that. It's definitely better than our last box. I don't know how much better. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys missed that mystery unboxing of our last mystery box we got, definitely go check that out. But we got those three figures. We also have our display stands right here. We got the clear version this time. And now it is time for our chase figure, man. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here we go. The chase figure is going to be none other then holy god in heaven it's a freaking bunny figure let's go man hell yes we got the bunny did not expect that man hell yes now i just don't know if i want to keep this man on card or if i want to open this the bunny so we did get the bunny now this automatically makes it better then the last one, I think. So last time we got, what, the one of 3,000 Chris Jericho figure. And then we got those three women's figures. This time we got three male figures and a chase female figure. And it is the bunny, man. Holy crap, I did not expect to see the bunny. So we did get the bunny figure. And then we also, I mean, th this is a good day. We got the hook. So we got hook and the bunny right there, man. That's good stuff. We also got our Toby Spider-Man. And we did get, of course, our Elite 106 figure. So hell yeah, I think that's a good day at the office. The bunny figure, man. I did not expect that. Now, I will say, I think the, the, the sticker's a little bit off-center right there, but I'm not going to be complaining about that. I think it still looks good. Hell yeah, man. Bunny figure. Didn't expect it. Did not expect a bunny figure, so I did not expect to really find that. So, I, I'm, I'm really happy with my mystery unboxing, man. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people get the bunny figure, so maybe that's your way to go if you want to get the bunny figure, but... I'd say it's pretty good, pretty good mystery unboxing right there, man. But I think that's, at the end of the day, that is pretty much going to wrap up our video. We had our Elite 106, our Toby Spidey. We got the Shop AEW exclusive 1 of 3,000 hook. The Unrivaled 13 Chase 1 of 5,000 bunny figure. Don't know if I want to open that, man. Should I open it up or should I leave it men on card? I feel like since the rest of our chases or a lot of our chases are men on card, I feel like I need to leave it in the box. But we have that, and then we do have our three random figures here and our ringside collectible stands, man. But if you want to grab one of those mystery boxes from ringside collectibles man at least use code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent over there they also have their cyber monday 3.0 sale going on if you guys want to get in on that but i think that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video i did also want to show you guys this before we get out of here here's like an updated shot of the shelves wall right here not completely done but we did fill it in with a lot of figures so i figured you guys would want to see this i did want to put this up to you guys spent a lot of time on this yesterday so we do have uh, different sections now of course we are going to do the room tour on new year's day and hopefully 
hopefully the entire office will be completed by then. But I did want to showcase this. Of course, the lighting isn't the best right now. I do apologize for that. I do have to get the rest of the lighting set up. So it will be brighter in here. Like I plan on actually putting like some can lights over here and the rest of the area as my dog goes crazy. But yeah, I did. Uh, we, we've added the Finn Balors over here. We got Seth Rollins. We got the Kinney's up. We got uh, CM Punk over here. We got some Jericho's. We got Cody and we have Brock. But that is going to wrap up the rest of the mystery unboxing. Hope you guys did enjoy. I did want to put up this little update at the end here. Got the, Jer or the Jeff Hardy's at the top right there. But anyways, man, my dog's going crazy. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.